representing the Czech Republic, 14-year-old Jana Horsakova, first junior Grand Prix event, ninth after the short program. And she takes to the ice after that brilliant performance by Min Sok Kwan. She'll need a 116.31 to take the lead. She'll skate to Shatter Me by Lindsay Sterling. Amazing backbend for the finished position for Jana Horstikova from the Czech Republic. 14 years old and hard act to follow him in soft one, but I think on the whole, a solid skate for the youngster. Oh, no question. Certainly has great technique, lots of energy throughout the program, some nice spins as well. She comes off the ice with a big, nice smile. Like, that was awesome. Let's take a look at some of the elements, and I was just working with this, watching the isolation of her movement, right? To the phrasing of the music at the top of the program, and here we see triple lutz. Straight up, nice all the way around, patient, up into the double axle. Well done. 
Here's another triple lutz right here. Straight up, you can see there's no twisting too far forward on the landing. No pre-rotation at all, really no. clean takeoff. And triple Saka lifts beautifully up with a double tolo. You're gonna wanna have more speed on the landing of the first jump, no question. Carry that through the combination as we take a look at the triple tolo. Again, a little slow on the landing. But that's being real picky. Then there's that uh. fall, just <laughs> awkward. Click the blade. She did well. Yeah. To get because the double axle wasn't long after that, but no. she did really well to. Yeah, she was strong beautifully. Nah. That's the. I think that moment there in the kiss and cry, that yeah. the cuddle between that. skater and coach. It's just a celebration of two humans that have had a common goal in preparing for a big international like this, and it's and beautiful look, to see. The feeling of peace, really, with the skate, mm. even with a mistake, she has a smile, and I think she thoroughly loved to skate in that competition. Like She enjoyed that, and so did we. Here's the score mm. for Jana from Czech Republic. <laughs> she continues to smile and reflect on that program and wait for the scores. Don't actually forced have to be put patient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have a personal best for her yet in the system. But this will be it, of course. There's a lot of. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, well, you get that sense. Obviously, no ISU PB to go with, but you also get that. That's the the clean slate, not just in terms of score, but clean skate in terms of experience and. This reaction now suggests to me that she'll come away with this with a very positive experience. Yeah. Irrespective of score, there's a skater who's satisfied, and that's priceless. I agree. And, you know, it, this is just the start of her career. So she's excited. <laughs> they, they, won't, they, might not all be, they might not all be as pricelessly, you know, satisfying as the feeling she has now, but... You know, great to have a, an early start like this. Well, you can see she loves the ex is this experience, and she'll take a look at the scores of the report card and see where she can improve, go back to work. But she has all the basic skills, beautiful posture, good presence on the mm. ice, good speed, good technique. It's all there. It's just continue to grow and mature, get stronger, get faster. She needs the momentum to continue through the jump on the landings and not have the landings just curl around the corner. You want that flow running out, and that's the quality. That takes time. It takes a lot of time. Let's take a look at the scores. Priyana, Marissa Kovar of Czech Republic, there it is, 95.97, that's six in. She's happy with the score, I think, 145.60. <laughs> and that'll put Yana currently in the fifth place overall. She's pretty happy with that, and so she should.